Alright guys, so today we're going to learn the widgets init action hook, okay? So this hook basically goes ahead and registers uh, a sidebar widget, okay? So if you check the add action, uh, we are using the add action and we are attaching our custom function. I just create widgets to the widget init hook. Okay, we're checking if this function does not exist, then go ahead and define this function. And then we're using register sidebar to pass in the array of the parameters, uh, name, you know, ID, description, and, and so on. Okay, uh, to go ahead and create a sidebar here. So once we put the set of, that set of code, you can see that, you know, we've got our, um, you know, sidebar registered over here. Okay. So guys, to check the source code of the do action of the widgets init hook, uh, if you go on to the Adam Brown Adam Brown info and you click on the view action hooks, and then search for the widgets init, we click on it, we we'll and scroll it down to the latest version. We can see that this is defined. The source code of the do action widgets init is defined in widgets.php and wp includes. So if we go into a wp includes. Scroll down and we find the widgets.php. We see the very last uh, you know, line of code is do action widget in it. So we've got all our widgets being registered over here uh, using the register widget function, uh, you know, in the WP widgets in it function. Uh, you know, all of these widgets are being registered over here, and right before the the function closes we they have defined the do action widget in it uh, so that we can attach our own custom function uh, and then you know define another register widget function to register our own widget as well and that's what we're doing over here we are using the register sidebar we are defining our you know custom function and latching on to this hook uh, which is available here and uh, we are using the register sidebar function to register our own widget as well okay so that's what's happening over here all right uh, so that's what the job of the widgets in it is and uh, that action it allows us to uh, you know insert our set of code uh, right at this point and before this function closes okay so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video